Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the best time of year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. No, it is the Sephora VIB sale. Yay! It is the annual 20% off sale. Mm, mm, mm. When is this video going to go up? When are the sales? I got to look that up now. If you don't know what this is, Sephora, if you are a VIB or a beauty insider, they have 20% off if you're a VIB or VIB Rouge or they have 15% off if you are a beauty insider. So it is the best time of the year because Sephora has a sale on every single thing in their store. So this video is all about my recommendations for this sale as well as my wish list and the things that I am hoping or thinking about picking up in this sale. So if you want to see exactly what I recommend and what I am wanting to get, then just keep watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you can get notified every single time I upload we're back to regular scheduled programming I upload twice a week typically on Tuesdays and Fridays so yes without further ado let's get right into this video also don't forget to follow me on social media especially Instagram and Twitter because I do weird stuff on there okay so I'm reading off my phone if you are a VIB Rouge member the Sale kicks off November 3rd till the 6th. Okay, Rouge members get first act access November 3rd to November 6th, but then we actually get a second opportunity. So they're giving you two weekends. So the second time you can use it is November 10th to 15th. That's crazy. Cause I always am like, see everyone else's hauls and I'm like, oh, I forgot something. I want to pick something else up. So you have a second opportunity. The VIB get 20% off and that is from November 10th to 15th. The code is 20 for VIB. I will leave everything down below. And then basic beauty insiders get 15% off from November 10th to 15th as well. So the Rouge members get a preview kind of and then everyone else can shop. So I will leave all that listed down below and let's just get into all of my picks. Where to begin? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you the things that I currently own that I would recommend and then stay tuned to the end of this video to see my wish list and what I am hoping, if I can find some money fallen from a tree, to buy. So the first thing I wanna recommend buying because they are pricier, the Makeup Forever Artist Face Colors. They come in blushes, bronzers, contours, and highlights. And basically, if you haven't seen them before, they look like this. So they are these rectangular pans, and then you can buy them individually. They come in a duo case or a trio case, or you can just buy them and put them in your Z palette. These are such good quality powders. Each one costs $29, although I think you get a discount if you buy three. So they're not cheap, but like you're never ever going to go through this. And so it's a great opportunity for you to create your own little contour and highlight palette. So I have H106, S310, and S116. This highlighter is amazing. The blush, I use this as my contour every single day. I love these. So if you're looking to make your own palette or you're a makeup artist and you wanna to add to like a Z palette or you just want a new highlighter, a new blush, or a new anything, I highly recommend these powders. They're so beautiful, they're easy to blend, they're not too pigmented, they give you just the right amount of color. They look really beautiful when they're blended out. So this is what I definitely recommend first of. This is kind of sad. This was recently 50% off on the Sephora website and it is no longer that. So this is the Anastasia oh, Lip Palette. I recently picked this up because it was $30 instead of like $62. And I do people's makeup and I am trying to be more of a freelance makeup artist so I thought this would be perfect. But I'm addicted to it, it is so cool. So. It comes with this little brush that on one end is a spatula and on the other end is a lip brush and it comes with a little palette and you just dig out the colors and you blend them and you make your custom color. Now, so while this is not that great if you're like yeah, I work all day because you can't bring your lipstick to touch up. For someone who makes videos or, you know, does really look like specific looks for Instagram and stuff, this is so helpful to me because it's like, oh, if you want one of these shades but it's too light, add in some black, add in some blue to cool it down, add in some white to lighten it. So they have like the primary colors here and then all the different basic colors there. I just think it's really, really cool if you're addicted to makeup 
and it is back to full price, so why not get it during the sale? Ah, one thing I picked up last year during the sale is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Color Wheel. Now this one is last year's, it was this packaging, um, but Tarte does have another one again this year, and I highly recommend them. I think they're awesome. I use this all the time if I'm just like, Oh, I don't know what color blush I want. I just like open it up. I'm like, oh yeah, I have every color. There's like mauves, bronzes, peaches, pinks. So I love these and they're kind of like not really a necessity. Like you don't really need this many blushes, but during a 20% off sale, I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong. There also are two highlighting shades. I'm not exactly sure of the specific colors in the new one, but you can't go wrong. And the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes are so pigmented. They last like so long on your skin. They will not rub off. It's very compact. So definitely check out the one that they've released for this year. So the 20% off sale for some can mean testing out or trying new products that are very luxury and very high end. So for me, that is like, Giorgio Armani. Now, it also can mean restocking on some of your favorites. So like, if you have one foundation that you use, get another one because it's like, you may not need it right now, but if it's 20% off, why not get it? Cause you know you'll use it or like your favorite concealer or your favorite mascara. So my favorite foundation right now is also luxury and it is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I'm nowhere near being done this and I have so many, I'm not gonna repurchase it, but if you're looking for a high-end foundation to try, I think this is like $65 or something, so you might as well get 20% off. The Power Fabric is beautiful if you have like normal to combination to oily skin. Get the Luminous Silk one by Giorgio Armani if you have more dry skin. Highly recommend purchasing a beautiful foundation that you know you will love and that if it's a little bit expensive, you get a discount on. Also something that I probably wouldn't wanna buy um, other than during a 20% off sale is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact. This is just like the powder makeup of the Luminous Silk. Comes with a little puff underneath, a big mirror. This powder is Stunning. I know if I have this in my purse, I am good for the entire day. It touches up your makeup beautifully. It sets powder. I mean, it sets your makeup beautifully. It controls oil beautifully. It doesn't make you look cakey or powdery. It fills in pores like nobody's business. I just bring it as touch-ups. Um, I typically set my makeup with a translucent powder, so I just bring this in my purse for touch-ups. It is a beautiful powder. You can put so much of it on and you will not look cakey. I think it's probably in like the $60 range, so it's definitely expensive for a powder, but highly recommend this one. My favorite mascara of the moment is by Clinique, and it is the High Impact Lash Elevating Mascara. So again, I highly recommend as I drop it. I highly recommend repurchasing things like concealer or mascara or eyebrow products that you know you go through. Like eyebrow products use the same one. Concealer I use the same one. And I just go through it every couple months, right? So restock that. So that was my favorite mascara. It is now on the floor. If you want lashes that stay lifted, this is like a almost waterproof mascara. So it keeps your lashes lifted. Another thing I want to recommend because it is so expensive, but I have been loving it, and this is the T3 Curling Irons. I have the Whirl Trio, so it is, um, you're going to take these off, and it comes with three different attachments. So um, this is the big one. This is what I use to curl my hair today. There's also a one inch and like an inverted one. So I have all three because this is a trio, or you can just buy these ones individually. They're very expensive, but they're beautiful. Not only do they look amazing, but they are just so wonderful. I have to hold my hair on them for like 10 seconds. I only use half the heat because I'm trying to protect myself against heat damage and it still just curls beautifully. It makes your hair silky and soft. These curls last so long, so I highly, highly recommend this um, curling iron brand, but it is very expensive, so definitely want to use the discount. One more thing I recommend, I think everyone could benefit from this. This is the IGK Texture Spray. Uh, beach Club Texture Spray. Every time girls come over to my house, they use this. I put it on their hair and they're like, what is that? That's amazing. I'm like, yes, I know. I feel like no matter what, you could use this. I use this on straight hair, curly hair. It just adds texture and it adds grit and it doesn't make your hair feel heavy or dirty. I put this right in my roots and it just like gives me this volume at the top here. You can spray it in your ends and it gives you like a pieciness. So this is one of my holy grail hair products. Okay, so now let's get into my wish list. I'm gonna just just look, where am I gonna look? Where am I gonna look? 
I'm gonna look on, I have, I'm a nerd and I totally like put together my cart like weeks before in preparation for this sale. And then I go through and go, okay, what can I actually afford? Will I be able to pay rent if I get everything in this cart? And I typically narrow it down because then I realize I have to buy, you know, groceries and, and pay my bills. And so I try to narrow, why am I holding this? I try to narrow it down. So, okay, what do we have? What do we have on my loves list? Huh? Oh, fragrance. I have been obsessing. I have gotten so many new fragrances lately and I've been obsessing over a lot of them, but one that I would have never tried if I never even knew about it, but I went into the store and I started talking to someone. Her name is Ashley. She's my friend now. And she recommended this one to me because I was telling her what kind of scents I like. And so that is on the list because if you want to get a fragrance, they're typically, you know, over a hundred dollars. So you want to get that 20% off. My favorite right now, I want to buy it, although I might wait and get my boyfriend to buy it for me for Christmas. And that is Mont Guerlain by Guerlain. It is so amazing. <gasps> I want it so bad. It's jasmine, lavender, and vanilla. It is so delicious. So yeah, I highly recommend picking up a fragrance during the sale. What else is on my love list? Oh, the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I have heard Viviana or Anna from the Anna Edit talk about this mask so many times. It's like a resurfacing, exfoliating mask, but it is $72 Canadian. So I am thinking about it, but um, it's a very large tub, but she raves about it and I kind of like peel type of masks or like retexturizing type of masks. Those are my favorite and I've never tried anything from Peter Thomas Roth, so that is definitely on my wish list. Ah, the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. That is on my list. I love, one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time is the Tartlet in Bloom Palette. So when they came out the Toasted, I've been stocking this palette for so long, like literally for like months. I saw a picture of it on someone's Instagram like in the summer and I've been waiting for it to come out. So that is definitely on my wish list. I need a new Beauty Blender that is on my list. That's expensive and I hate buying Beauty Blenders because they're so expensive, but they're so good. Another palette I'm looking at is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. He came out with a new formula and the new colors of them and I like the one in what is it scandalust oh maybe I'll get that one that one looks so pretty I love the color it's like a red toned palette another thing I'm still thinking of but it's just so expensive I don't really know if I even want to do it are the Sephora pro palettes especially the warm one or even the editorial one looks really cool but they're $85 Canadian and it's just like I have so many eyeshadows but and I've heard like mixed reviews on those palettes, so, but that is kind of on my love list. Ah, last year I got the Kat Von D like mini um, Everlasting Lipstick set and I love it. So she has a new one with different shades and so I definitely want to pick that one up. Um, the two Hourglass palettes, there's the Ambient Lighting Volume 3 that looks really cool. It's got like two blushes, a bronzer, a highlighter, and like some finishing powders, so that looks beautiful. They've also launched their ambient metallic strobe lighting palette. That one I've heard rave reviews about. So that one might be winning over the like six pan palette, but that is something that I've been looking at. Oh, IGK has another, I love their beach spray, but they have one called the Down and Out Dirty Spray that I really want to try because it seems like it's the same idea, but just like a little bit different. So I'm like wondering what the difference is or is it better or worse? So I kind of wanted to try that one. Ooh. Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. I don't know who I heard talking about this. I forget, but someone was like worshiping it, saying it was the best mask they've ever tried. Loving skincare, loving mask. So definitely want to try that one. Marc Jacobs has a really cute holiday set. I'll leave it right there. Um, called the Cat's Meow Five Piece Petite collection and it's got like five little lipsticks in the cutest little pouch. Um, I love Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I only have one of them but I like the range in the kit and I kind of just really like the leopard print pouch but that's definitely on my list. And I think that's everything I've been thinking about so stay tuned. I will definitely be posting probably in the next couple weeks um, my haul from everything that I do get and hopefully I can give you guys like a little bit of a review of the things that I purchased. Please leave down below anything that I'm missing, anything that I should purchase because again the Rouge members have two weekends so I, if I miss anything I can get it again the next weekend so please leave comments down below about what you think I should get. Hope you guys like this video and don't forget to stay tuned for my actual VIB sale haul. Bye guys!